I, I have to show you something. Oh, this is Joy. Hi. I have to show you something. Okay, watch this. Do you see this? Do you see this Ziggy poster? Well, it's not a poster. It's like Ziggy down here. And it's like the God character saying, sorry, but I had to get your attention before I could enlighten you. It's by Tom Wilton. Of course, I didn't write this. It's a comic strip I love. And it's from, I think, April of 2007. And it looks like God punched the crap <laughs> out of Ziggy. And Ziggy's like, what? And look, let me tell you something. This is, it's amazing that I saw this because I keep stuff. Not a hoarder, okay? But I keep stuff um, that, I don't know, this is relevant. I don't even know why it's relevant, but that's 14 years old. A comic strip I cut out. I was like, I gotta have this, gotta have it. Who knows that 14 years later it would be very relevant. So... Something came to me. I've been having a lot of dreams, which is what happened in this time frame. Uh, what craziness is happening in the world right now. But anyway, I know me personally. Many times in my life, I have been in a position where I should have put on my running shoes and left uh, a job, a relationship, uh, a, a place I was living and I didn't. I'm like, no, I'm staying here because I know it. And I'm, I, even though I'm uncomfortable and miserable, I'm staying here. And I always had to be punched in the face by source before I made a move. And what if right now everything that's happening, not only in this country, but in the world, is source punching us in the face? Because, I mean, let's be for real. I don't know how many people have been happy, thriving, wonderful. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think many because I talk to my friends and everybody's been freaking miserable for years. Some people decades and they just accept the status quo and keep going and like, Psh, this how it is. This how it is till you die. And let me tell you something. I don't think that that's necessarily the case. Right now, I believe Source said, you know what? Mm -mm. I have to punch humanity in the face and make them do better, be better. And even number 45, people love to hate him. One thing that man did right was show us who we are. He showed the people who are loving who they are. He showed the people who have a lot of anger, hurt. People call it hatred in their hearts. He's showing them who they are. He's showing this country our wounds, our scars. And look, just as when we're sick and you know you got a stomach bug or whatever, you know you're going to puke. You know you're going to have diarrhea. You know you're going to be blowing your nose. All kind of nasty stuff is coming out of everywhere. But you start to feel better after all of the nasty come out. Okay, right now our nasty has got to come out. It's got to come to the surface. We can't suppress. We can't repress. Look, look, look. Let me tell you something. Joy know about suppression and repression. I'm working on some of my own stuff right now, baby. You can't suppress and repress. You got to let it out, and that's what's happening. So I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. But after what, we're gonna heal. We're gonna heal as a world. We're gonna heal as a nation, and we will have a new normal. We're going to be better. I don't know what to expect. It's never going to be the same again. We already know that. But we're going to be something more. We will finally transition out of this damn chrysalis into the butterfly. My goodness. What if we are able to use more of our brain? What if we're healthier? What if it's just better? I mean, look, caterpillars are nasty little disgusting creatures. But the butterflies, it's like amazing. So I think we're on our way to becoming a butterfly. Hang in there, Bo. Your wings are forming. Sacred joy. Be blessed.